Hello friends, in this video, I'll be talking about two very useful features in Microsoft Excel. They are known as freezing and splitting. And these two concepts are used whenever you are having a very large data set and you want to manage it efficiently in Microsoft Excel. Now, what is first of all freezing? So with the help of freezing, we can keep some of the rows and columns static. Let's say if suppose if we want to see only the column header every time. Yeah, whenever you are having a very large table, then when you scroll down, then definitely you will not be able to see the header. So if you want to uh, keep that header permanent and then even though you want to go down, but you want to still see the header, then that is possible with the help of the concept known as freezing. And the another concept which is known as splitting. So in splitting, what we do that we divide the screen into two sections. They are known as panes. And then when we want to compare one data with another data, then that is possible with the help of the splitting. So let us see practically how we can do it. So in this particular sheet, we are having the freezing option. So first of all, we'll see that what is freezing. So here I'm having a large table. This table is consisting of columns like employee, then building, department, employee ID, phone. Then we are having the social security number. This is the dummy US employee data. So social security number, status, hire date, years. Years means the number of years of experience which they have. The benefits which are there, benefits are shown in some short form. Then we are having the compensation, job rating and new compensation. So it is having some columns here. And now if I go down, then it is having roughly around 741 records. So here we can see that this table is not very large and not very small also. So now what happens that normally when I go down, I cannot see the column header. So suppose if I want to see that, okay, what is this D? Then what I have to do, I have to go up and I can see the title here, which is known as benefits. So now what is my requirement that I want to keep this first row fixed? Or you can say that I want to freeze the first row here so that even if I go down, it will be still available on the top. Let us try to see this thing. So what we do that we go to the view tab and in the view tab, we are having this option known as freeze panes here. So there is a separate button known as freeze panes in the view tab. So I go to the freeze panes. When I click on the freeze panes button, then we are having here three options, freeze panes, freeze top row and freeze first column. So what we want to do, we want to go for the freeze top row. First of all, keep the top row visible while scrolling through the rest of the worksheet. So I can click this option here, freeze top row. And now if I go down, you see that my top row is always available. So this is a great feature. Many times we are working with large data set and we are not able to see the top row. So you can freeze this top row by going to the view tab, freeze panes and click this option, freeze top row. So this is one option here. Now, what happens that if I go on the right hand side and I see here the new compensation in the new compensation column, suppose if I see one particular compensation or salary that is 81,682. Now, I want to know that who will be getting this particular new compensation with employee. So for this particular record, I have to go on the left hand side like this and now I can see that okay this 81,000 something new salary it will be given to Jesse Wilkins. Again, I have to go here. Again, I go down. I can see one figure, let's say small figure like 14,000 something. I want to know that who is getting this low salary. So I have to again go on the left hand side. And here I can see that this 14,000 salary is taken by Greg Bullock. So every time I have to go on the right hand side, come to the left hand side. So this is a very tedious process. So what we can do here that we can freeze this first column. I can freeze the first column and then even if I go on the right hand side, still that first column will be visible. So how we can freeze this first column? Again, the same technique. We go to the view tab. In the view tab, I go to the freeze panes. In the freeze panes, I click this option, third option, which is known as freeze first column. I click on freeze first column and now this first column is now freezed. How we can check it? We have to just go on the right hand side. And when I go on the right hand side, you can see that my first column is freezed. It is still available. So now it is very, very easy. Suppose if I go down and if I see this option here, let's say 70,000. If I want to know that who will be getting this $70,000, then I can see here that it is of Deborah. So now it is easy. Okay, now I don't have to go on the left hand side. So this is how we can freeze the first column. Now, what happens here that when I'm freezing the first column, then if I go down here, then I'm losing the first row here because now my first row is not freeze. So normally when I go to this freeze panes, if I click this second option that is freeze top row, then only the top row will be freezed, but the first column will not be freezed. 
and if I select this uh, third option here that is freeze first column then only the first column will be freezed but my top row will not be freezed but now my requirement is this that if I want to freeze the first row also and if I want to freeze the first column also then how we can do it so here now there is very very important step that I have to select one of the cell here the selection of the cell is very very important so here i'll be selecting this cell which is known as b2 why b2 because above this b2 we are having this first row and on the left hand side of b2 we are having the first column so i have to select specifically this b2 only no other cell so i select here this b2 cell then i go to the view tab i go to the freeze panes in the freeze panes first of all i have to click this first option here it is known as unfreeze panes normally because i have freeze either the column or top row so first of all i have to remove the freezing so i have to click this first option unfreeze panes so now there is no freezing now again i have to go to the freeze panes and now i have to click this option freeze panes i click on this option freeze panes and now you can see that there is some thin line here which is created by excel so if i go down you see that my first row is still available and if i go on the left hand side my first column is also available so both the things are now there the first row also and the first column also so this is what we mean by freezing the first row in the first column now suppose if i want to freeze first two columns then i also want to freeze the first row so what i have to do i will select here this particular cell that is known as c2 so I select here C2. Why C2 here? Because on the left hand side of C2, I'm having these two columns and on the top side of the C2, I'm having the first row. So I have to select this cell C2. Then I go to the freeze panes. First of all, I have to unfreeze it. And now I again go to the freeze panes and again I click this option freeze panes. So I click here freeze panes. So now if I go down, my first row is freezed. And if I go on the left hand side, you can see that my first two columns are also freezed. So whenever you are having these kind of situation that you want to suppose freeze the first two rows and you want to also freeze the first two column, then the selection of the cell is very, very important. So this is what we mean by the concept known as freezing. Now in the next video, we'll be talking about the concept known as splitting. Let us go to the next video. Thank you very much.